Hello, and I'm here today to show you ProQ3 and Ableton Live 10. The combination of Ableton Live 10, especially since we have the 10.1 release, and ProQ3 is like magic. And for me, it's just really an amazing combination because, to be frank, um, the side chaining possibilities I had previously, well, we had previously, weren't limited, but a bit more complicated to use. So, um, what do we mean? What do I mean by that? So, in the past, and a lot of people do this, and there's no secret here on how this is done. Um, side chaining was used was basically uh, done with a compressor, and using. And for me, the easiest way to do that was to use the compressor in Ableton. So let's just hear the. I've put. I've got a bass loop and a kick drum together. <laughs> And those two, you can just hear the muddiness, right? You can hear the, you can hear the bass and the kick uh, frequencies clashing. So in the past, what you would do is you would take a um, audio effect, like a compressor. You would just plug that on the synth bass, and you'd get this. Bring down the threshold. And it sounds cool. I mean, it's it's not it's not a bad sounding thing. And Ableton Ableton is cool, and this is great. Okay, so that's uh, one way to do the side chaining. The other way you could do it uh, is I've got a, um, a VST. There's lots of um, actual VST sort of utility VSTs that exist, and I've got this one called Kickstart. So if I play apply that to the to the bass channel, there's no I don't even need the kick, right? I mean the kick, you can switch the kick off and I've got um, I've got what sounds like side, side chaining but it's actually volume shaping it just ducks the volume at the bit where the kick would go and you can this is uh, sending it to the one uh, the quarter note but you can do it uh, different types of ways right so that sounds cool too the only problem with the compressor and the kickstart um, methods are that it just completely ducks the whole sound, right? There's just, it's a complete sort of pumping <laughs> effect and there's no subtlety about it. So enter the Pro-Q3. So why am I talking about the Pro-Q3? Well, the Pro-Q3 has this. It's got this side chaining thing. So this side chain function didn't exist um, before 10.1 release of Ableton. So what that means is Ableton has introduced a function that allows side chaining similar to how it does how it does it with its internal audio effects, but it allows it to be done on external audio effects such as the Pro Q3, uh, it can be done on Neutron, um, so it can be done on quite a few others actually. Um, if the developer of that, of FabFilter or whoever you know knows about that function and wants to put it in they will do it so that is cool and so what does this do so I've put the kick into into the VST and let's listen it does nothing what it does <laughs> what it does is uh, show the shape of the frequencies you can clearly see where the kick is so I'm just gonna I just put a little notch in there for the kick Okay, and the way to make this side chain is to right click and make it dynamic. Okay, so let's listen. Still not doing a lot. So for in order for it to do something, you need to click this auto button and this little button that goes next to it. And that enables the threshold. So just like you would have on a compressor, the threshold will give you the level of, bo of volume reduction on that frequency. So let's listen. this down I want to get the volume down to about minus three decibels so the higher it is the more of a slower duck and the lower it is it's almost attached it's almost like no duck it's just constantly cut out so it's less dynamic so so just keep it a little bit higher OK, 
Okay, so as you can see here, the Q, um, let's just let's look at the shape here. Does the Q pick up the, the iceberg, the top of the iceberg of the kick? I think it does. We could, we could just um, make it thinner if you really want to go in a bit deeper. So just to pull this, you can just pull this down. But I, I think making it wider is fine. Okay, so let's now listen to it with and without, so we could, we've got a reference. So this is with, this is without. with so what that does is basically you don't have that pumping effect anymore but you've got a separation between the bass and the kick which is exactly what we want so that's it uh, boys and girls this is how pro q works with ableton if you've got any questions please um send me a message and i'll be i'll re I respond to everybody um lastly if you've got any videos that you want me to make if there's something else you want me to show you um i'd be glad to do it just please uh, make a comment and um yeah fantastic so have a good day bye <laughs>